good morning, it's Valentine's Day. And uh, it's interesting that uh, we don't see it in the uh, church lectionary in terms of readings or anything like that. Uh, but Valentine, so Valentine appears to have been uh, a, a character or a saint that uh, could be one of up to three different characters. So perhaps that's an issue. But in each case, it's been uh, something involved with bringing uh, people together, getting them married and things like that, and suffering for it, mainly because the Romans tried to stop uh, Christian marriages uh, back in the day and martyred people who would perform those marriages. Pretty tough, eh? Well, we uh, live in difficult times now, don't we? And uh, I know that uh, many have struggled uh, and I know that the divorce rate has gone through the roof according to government figures, which is incredibly sad and distressing. And when we think that human flourishing has been the subject of the last two Sundays that we've been looking at, uh, we can perhaps reflect that God loves us all, the whole of our humanity, including our sexuality. And I know that comes with all sorts of difficulties these days, probably explains why there's not a lot of mention of it around, around the church. But at the end of the day, we are built in God's image. We are loved unconditionally by God and everything about us uh, is something that God can use to support the kingdom. Uh, the uh, current Archbishop of York uh, wrote not long ago to say that uh, he felt that uh, many people don't often experience transcendence, don't often experience God, but they might experience transcendence uh, through intimate relationships, through love. And actually, is that not a good thing? Is that not a way of experiencing God. The uh, whole thing is incredibly commercialised. It's all about spending money and uh, it's all about human love. It's uh, the Valentine's Day has uh, become a, a place where people declare their love for each other. But is Valentine's Day something that should be in the church calendar or shouldn't? Is there another way of thinking about it? I wonder, you'll notice I do a lot of wondering, what uh, Jesus might do if he was sending a Valentine's card to us. And I've got one here to humanity. Let's have a look what it says. Happy Valentine's Day, it says. Shall I read what's inside? Here we go. It says, uh, uh, with love, with lots of love from Jesus. Let's see what is what we've got at the top. We will all be together eventually. I made sure of that. In the meantime, love God, love one another and bear the fruit of the kingdom. Lots of love, Jesus. Well, you know, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing for us to be thinking about. Human flourishing is that heart of God's plan. So let's take the moment and celebrate St Valentine's Day. Let's love each other. God bless.